Tabezita. The whites have arrived, Sigit. So I see. That girl, Mkobuz, the one they say came back to life, was she really dead? Yes, Ndabizita. In my opinion, she was. Inform their chief and the Isangoma that they may enter the royal crown. Ndabizita. The whites are magicians, Shaka. They work with illusion. You have taught us to live in reality. Even if the whites had a hundred lives each, those lives would be not worth a single dedicated life of one Zulu. Because we are superior. The leopard is also superior, Mkobuz. He's a sovereign among the masters. Each proud day of his life is worth a hundred days in the life of a raven. Yet if the leopard were offered wings to fly, we would be foolish to refuse them. No, Shaka. The leopard's kingdom is the earth. On the earth, he is the master. In the skies, he becomes a victim. If the whites offer you wings, it is because they wish to make you their victim. Do you hear that, Ngoma? He's been with the whites for a few days, and already he fears for the security of the state. Their powers must be great indeed. Puma! Gavesi. Gavesi. And Kopos! Never abuse our friendship again. <laughs> 